When it comes time to create new graphics for use in a video or motion graphics system, Photoshop offers several built-in presets that will automatically set your document up for the proper tape format. Be sure to use these presets to get consistent results every time. The new document dialog box makes it easy to create a properly sized video graphic. You'll want to go to the preset menu and choose the Film and Video category. From here, you have a size list, and this will offer presets for several of the most popular video and film formats. Let's go ahead and click the list to preview our options. The document presets are grouped by video standard. All of the NTSC formats are offered first. You can choose between DV, both standard aspect ratio and widescreen, as well as D1, which is more common for beta or other analog formats. You have a square pixel preset for those looking to create their graphics using square pixels instead of the native non-square pixel. Next, we have the PAL presets. These are primarily used in European markets. After this are all of the high definition formats, and these will depend greatly on the tape format that you're shooting. The HDV and HDTV presets are primarily for 720p, and this will create a graphic that is 1280 by 720 using square pixels. However, if you are shooting 720p using a DVC Pro camera, the native size is 960 by 720 using a pixel with a 1.33 pixel aspect ratio. Notice that Photoshop offers several different presets, and all you need to know as a designer is which format is being used in the edit. Be sure to clarify this with the producer or the client at the start of the project, because it is not a good idea to have to redesign your graphics. Then, choose the new document window and select from one of the film and video presets that matches the standard that you need to deliver for the end result. Simply click OK and Photoshop will create a new document. It warns you that the pixel aspect ratio preview is only for preview purposes and this will result in a little bit of softening of the image within Photoshop. We can go ahead and click OK. Photoshop creates a new document sized appropriately and automatically adds safe title and action safe guidelines. The inside box is called title safe and this is where all words or logos should fall for maximum readability on the screen. The outer box which is 90% of the image is called action safe and everything that falls within action safe should show up on a standard television. The area outside of Action Safe may be cut off by a television or may not. You will still want to design edge to edge, both horizontally and vertically, but be mindful of the Title Safe and Action Safe boundaries when positioning essential elements within the graphic. Again, choose File New to access the new document presets. And from here, under Film and Video, you will have all of the presets that you should need for a normal video or motion graphics workflow.